Yo, what's up, my empathic ninjas and warriors? This is your boy, JC Desmond. And um, I want to talk about what is hoovering and why you do not want it to happen to you. Okay, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe to this channel as it will uh, greatly uh, help me out and uh, I appreciate the support. So, when you've gone through a toxic relationship with a narcissist, um, it goes those three stages that I spoke about in a previous video where you go through the love bombing phase, the devalue phase, and then the discard. And when the discard occurs, you know, they leave you in shock and they leave you, you know, feeling like you're worthless. And so what happens is you become addicted to these people, you know, you become addicted to to them because you are questioning yourself. You are saying, what, did, what could I have done better? So there's this need to kind of try to prove that you can be better in the relationship. But what you have to understand is that none of this was your fault, Okay. You were in a relationship with someone toxic. So when you go through this discard phase, um, a lot of times the discard is not permanent. Narcissistic people, they feel like once they have a grip on you that you belong to them. They feel like they own you for the rest of their lives. So what you have to do is you have to go no contact. And the reason why this is important is because you are trying to get this poison out of your system so that you can move on and you can no longer allow abuse. But a lot of times the people are so hurt and they feel like they have, you know, a lot of people tend to want what they can't have. So when somebody abandons you or leaves you, you desperately want that person's approval and attention. The narcissist knows this and what they will try to do is they will try to hoover you back in. And what a hoover is, it's a technique. Um, it's a, it's a term it's like a technique that they use to try to suck you back into their life, like the Hoover vacuum. Um, and so they will discard you and make you feel like trash and tell you that it's all been your fault. But then they'll see that you're starting to level back up and that you are starting to get better. And they will come in and they'll they'll do little things like they'll send you a text message. Hey, um, I just wanted to see how you're doing. Uh, then another text message. Hey, you know, I saw I saw this on Facebook and uh, and I'm proud of you Little things to try to get you to be hopeful that there might be some kind of reconnection and uh, My uh, ex-narcissist did this to me You know, she would text me twice a week after we were we had broken up and in my mind I was thinking to myself like why just leave me alone. And why are you texting me? I, when you break up with somebody you're not supposed to just keep hitting them up. It's just weird but of course, she knew that I missed her, so we eventually got back together, and she hoovered me back in. And uh, the reason why you don't want this is you have to be realistic as to what you're dealing with. You are not dealing with a person who loves you and wants to get back with you because they miss you. The only reason why a narcissist will hoover you back in to get back with you is so that they can continue the cycle of abuse. You see, these people are all <clears throat> about validation and uh, narcissistic supply. They do not love. They do not get into relationships for love and, uh, and, and bonding and connection. They only get into relationships because it is the most potent source of supply for them. When they lock somebody in, they can start extracting that fuel from these people. When they first got with you, they saw that you had something amazing in you and they wanted to take all these qualities out of you and bring it into them so that they can feel better about themselves because they're all about supply. They cannot function without somebody else's approval or, or other people's approval. They can only truly function by gaining that validation because you got to understand these people have very low self-esteem and a low sense of self-worth. They might put on a front, but the fact is that these people are um, very self-loathing. They, um, they don't actually love themselves. They hate themselves. They're always depressed. So they need other people in order to make them feel better about themselves. So when you are missing your ex-narcissist, the one thing you do not want is for them to come back. They're not coming back because they, they miss you or they want to reconnect. They will say these things to try to lure you back in so they can abuse you even more. I want you guys to remember that a hoover is not a compliment. 
all it really means is that they know that you are at a weakened state and they can continue to extract fuel from you. I want you guys to remember this. The only way to get away from these people is to cut the cord. Go no contact for the rest of your life with these people. Now, these people are obsessive. So what they're going to do is they're going to stalk you. They're going to go look at your social media. They're going to do everything to try to, you know, have some kind of contact with you because they're obsessive. They have to see that you're doing bad. So when you go no contact, you have to make sure that you get up. You can't stay in your room and ruminate all day because you're going to go crazy. You have to get up. You have to work on yourself. You have to go to the gym and lose weight. You have to try to get your money back up. You have to do something to get your level back up. Because when they see you doing bad, it's going to give them good fuel. It's going to get, it's going to make them feel better about themselves because remember, these people, they're pieces of shit. They don't love themselves. If they can make somebody else feel like them, it's going to make them feel better because it's like misery loves company. But if you start doing better, these people are going to look back at your social media and they're going to be like, oh, they're going to be baffled as to why you're doing so much better without them. You know, uh, understand that these people will never change. They're maladaptive. They will, they will never change. They will go through the cycle over and over again. And when they try to hoover you back in, and if you fall for the hoover, the cycle is going to be even shorter and it's going to be worse. That means they're going to love bomb the shit out of you again. And then they're going to go back to the devalue phase and they're going to discard you again. But this time it's going to be worse. You cannot allow that to happen, okay? So guys, please, when I tell you, you do not want a hoover. And I know you might miss your ex and everything, but if you know for a fact that this person has narcissistic personality disorder or they're just toxic individuals, just understand that they are not going to see the light and change. This is not how it works. They are going to come back in because they know you are at a weakened state so they can extract more fuel from you and abuse you even more to make themselves feel better about themselves. Understand you guys have the power to move on. You have the power to level up. These people don't. This is a power that you have over them. They don't have this power. You have the power to get up, move on, learn your lessons, and become a better version of yourself. These people will always stay in the same cycle for the rest of their lives. You're not any different. They're not going to change for you. They're not going to change for their new source of supply. They're not changing for anybody. They're not even going to change for their children or family because these people are stuck in a pattern. And this is that is the disorder. So that's basically it. You know, guys, make sure that if you if they try to come back into your life to hoover you back in to suck you into their their pattern of abuse, cut them off. Believe you me when I tell you, you are it. It's like a drug. When you are addicted to the drug, the drug makes you feel good momentarily, but the drug slowly starts killing your body. Okay, and that's exactly what's going on right now. You are detoxing this drug by being in no contact. Stay in no contact. Move on with your life. Trust me. There's other people out there that will treat you good. Um, you're going to be absolutely okay. You're going through a phase now, but you're going to be all right. So I want you guys to understand this. You're going to be fine. Work on yourself. Um, believe in yourself, love yourself, and just get out there and live a great life. These people are going to look back at you and they're going to absolutely hate you because they hate you already. Narcissists are not capable of love. They don't have any empathy and, um, you know, and, and they're maladaptive. They will not change for you. It's not going to get better. The only way it'll get better is for you to get the fuck out. So that's it. It's your boy. JC, love over narcissism. Please uh, take the time to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you very much. Peace.